It is done. Finito. People, this is a humongous occasion. This is basically what we're going for. And they were not approved by management. She's a plumber by trade, as if you didn't know that. It's alive! <laughs> Here we go. Well, everybody asks us, why Pepe? What's this deal with naming your bus Pepe? Well, Pepe is a movie. <laughs> Years ago, it's huge. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Pepe, man. Check it out, she's done. Finito, we've moved in. I know you guys have been following us for quite a while online. This is the finished product. This is the stress test. Come have a look and see how it's turned out. It's pretty cool. Well, color has changed a little, don't you think? Yeah, this is more in line with what we're kind of looking for. This was done with a roller and a paintbrush. I think the result is not too shabby, if I say so myself. Even a bit of gleam there. This is kind of a satin finish. Uh, kind of sets off the bus a little better, don't you think? Uh, what we've gone for inside is a bit of a beach shack vibe. So let's check it out, see what's going on. Start with the floor, this is basic vinyl flooring. Bit of a wood theme, which is cool. Kind of helps everything else match together. On the walls we have wooden flooring, kind of laminate. Which is a floor, wood paneling, very light. Um, kind of a balsa wood type of thing, pine wood. Uh, yeah, it's very wonky. As you'll see, most of the bus is a little wonky and that's legitimate. This is not a kind of a joinery exercise where everything has to be perfect. Uh, the idea is not to have it perfect because it's a bit of a beach shack. We'll show you more inside. First of all, we have a little hand hold here. This actually comes from Punta, no, Picos, Picos de Ropa in Spain, which is a very cool place to visit. This was about 10, 15 years ago. We can remove that because sometimes we need access in here. And this is our electrical board. So we've plugged in the battery, all of it 12 volt, 230 volt. Everything is uh, at least labeled. It has our 2000 watt inverter, mainly because you're running two fridges and the peak draw on a fridge when it starts up is about 400 500 watts and the old 1000 watt inverter which is now in the landy used to pull the little camping fridge pretty well it wasn't working in here with the other fridge we'll show you that in a minute we are now running power from the campsite so it's not plugged in Why not? we don't need to plug it in because we plug directly into the campsite this is only converting battery to 230 volt right this is 230 volt well, from the campsite the the solar panel is plugged in. Oh. The solar panel goes through here, yeah. directly to the battery, which is under the floor. This is also charging the battery from the plug that comes from the campsite. If we've got electricity, we might as well use it. All our electricity is here, 
12 volt and 230 volt which I've routed through the ceiling through the floor all that stuff it all works and uh, we got storage on this side even a broom even a broom <laughs> uh, even this door has been painted many times by Vic give it a bit of a rough look which is quite nice put a little thing back in here and in the front of the bus well there's a reason we actually bought the thing I mean look at it panoramic uh, IMAX 3d all of that we've got some uh, blinds in here which have been sewn on a really wonky sewing machine which we did as well uh, the other side is silver so we have a big one for the front and the other side as well the seats are the original seats which is a little homage to the bus's history as a troop transport back in the day um, I put little swivel bases under them this also then serves as our little workstation which is pretty cool these are pallet old pieces of pallet wood which is pretty cool the base itself is the only thing we haven't built ourselves we built basically everything in this bus we've done ourselves uh, steel paneling steel paneling here very important and that's a recurring theme because as you might see in a link up here the issue with our ceiling uh, that was basically left over got little handles here which is cool steel is also handy for hanging up magnets fridge magnets which we collect when we go somewhere you have to have gone there though we had a little bit of help from Ikea basically these little boxes we made the doors got latches here latches on the side while you're driving nothing falls open and everything's on the floor including your peanut butter it is magnetic it does hold it but you never know down here we have some ikea drawers which you might recognize uh, in here we have silver I silver knives them when I was a little girl. they were for my mommy cutlery as you do the fronts are old pallet wood which we've made here we have our melamine uh, plates with our silver cutlery of coconut bowls all of that in the bottom we have our cooking area which is pretty cool latches on everything so when we're driving it's all secure and you know what this is shall I open it uh -huh. obligatory beer <laughs> That's what a good fridge should look like. Yeah, why not have two fridges in your van if you can? Basically, it's a mix and match of everything. Most of the stuff in here is being repurposed. Uh, over here, this is Vic's handiwork. All of this copper piping here. She's a plumber by trade, as if you didn't know that. She's also a seamstress. Look at this. These were all knotted by hand by Vic, which was a huge amount of work. And this is actually left over well, it's part of a, a hammock, which I'll show you the rest of as well. So this was a lot of work. We keep all our groceries in there, fresh veggies and bananas. All of our stuff to cook with, which means we also have an oven. Full gas hob. There's our oven, which has been tested and approved. Ventilation here. This thing is actually a level meter for your water tank. But when it arrived, it wasn't working, so it's been repurposed to hold up your kitchen roll. Because you can't live without kitchen roll. It's impossible. And here's another thing from IKEA. One of their very many uh, undercounter fridges, along with the stove and the soft-closing drawers. Uh, this top is actually scaffolding boards from a building site, which we've repurposed. Resin the top, so it's uh, waterproof, which is pretty cool. All the netting curtains were sewn by Vic, made by ourselves, under lighting over here, which is cool. Little fan, it's very hot out here in uh, Provence. We also have Fiamma fans, uh, two of them, one above the kitchen and one in the bathroom. And here's our bathroom area, as you may have seen in previous videos. Uh, pallet wood, this is a nice little beach we were on in the Dominican just a perfect luscious place so we thought make a whole door out of it old wood again pieces of wood you find lying around inside we have a mirror in the door which is uh, pretty handy this is a 
made to look like an old mirror actually which is pretty cool a hand done by Vic as well this is steel following the curve of the roof all the way there's our um, personal amenities like toothpaste and soap open this door here's our composting toilet um, we'll show you how that works in a different video these things are used to keep our toilet roll and stuff made this as well this is um, old wine boxes wooden wine boxes here's another one over here which is kind of a recurring theme as well up here we have another Fiamma uh, vent which is cool there's our shower head one of our taps shower tap which is been sanded off it used to be chrome Vic sanded it off which is quite cool this is what you see underneath chrome much cooler the floor used to be old apple crates I don't know if you know where they are wooden apple crates very cool stuff very old uh, we just cut them all up put them in the floor and then put resin over the top of that so it's waterproof but it has a nice old vibe about it along with this really cool little drain over here on the floor here this is our old IKEA rug knotted rug which was also quite old just cut it to width and look somebody's doing some work <laughs> good morning lovely people in here we have our mostly tea if you can see that all our stuff got a little hinge at the top here we got our little stays also a little wonky uh, also got a latch as you do our sink it doubles up as our bathroom sink and kitchen sink this used to be an old confit which means confiture. like a jam no yeah. confiture confiture which means something in French, but that used to be used by people a long time ago to make foodstuffs. And it was found on a feed grenier in the village by Vic. Uh, made it into a little tap, a little drain hole. Here's our tap, which was also nicely sanded by Vic. It used to be chrome, but this is what you find underneath if you sand the chrome off. Much prettier than the... Does it work? demo yeah everything has been resined handmade again here's another soft closing drawer and can it hold 30 kilos yes it can here's our gas for the oven bit of ventilation in the back there so these are handles made by Vic both sides we even got a palm tree on there uh, this is the other side of it this string and this is basically what you lie on in your hammock so basically this thing cost what 15 euros and it's been repurposed there's a little curtain here which hides our clothing we each get two drawers we've even got hangers for our hanging clothing which is pretty cool we've been on the road for two years <laughs> and it's amazing to have hanging space <laughs> this is our shoe cupboard and other stuff uh, also handmade with some pallet wood this is also old pallets this whole thing here Vic's mom's mirror which comes with us uh, all way, wherever we go this is our picture we got from the Dominican we've had it for about 15 years now it goes with us everywhere as well Vic made this really nice really quite intricate and I think you can understand what it says well everybody asks us why Pepe what's this deal with naming your bus Pepe well you saw the front where we started it looks a little bit like a butterfly and if you look up the word in Samoan it's Pepe we like the idea that butterflies just have a very light touch wherever they go they just bounce around they don't make a big impact and they just keep on moving as well and in that they get everywhere they get a long way but whatever they touch doesn't really get impacted as much I think we're all trying to do that in some way finally we're kind of realizing what we're doing on our planet right we have some light switches uh, originally I had some really really cheap plastic ones and they were not approved by management 
So I came up with these things, which are actually little switches for remote control airplanes. You know those big helicopters where you can add little lights or something. Uh, that's what it's basically used for. I made a little pentel plate around there to give it a bit more cachet, which is cool. Uh, all our lights are LEDs. Reading lights here. This one charges your phone as well. Uh, here's our bed. This was our mattress from where we lived, call it home. Uh, the support underneath was basically part of the bus. It used to sit above the driver's seat, which you could raise and lower. We've put it in here now, so it's a permanent attachment and it's facing that way instead of this way, which is cool. Under here, there's 230 liters of fresh water. We have some storage space. We have some more of these boxes. Bit of a wine theme going through because they're boxes we were given. There yeah, we've got a little um, place to put your mobile phone. Gone to the beach, which which doubles up as a cup holder. And there you go. How cool is that? And then I've got this to charge my telephone. You've got this to charge your telephone. Uh, in the corner you've got the light, which is also a USB charger. There's some more steel over there. Fix at a workstation. I'm guessing you want me to unplug it. Well, you can, yeah, let's do that live. While we're here under here, there's our little water meter. We might need to top up soon, but that shows us how much fresh water we have left. Here we go. <laughs> so, sleep mode, and then you can change it into work mode. Oh, I'm loving it. I'm getting, loving it. I'm loving it. Also gives you a bit of extra counter space when you're busy working, uh, doing the dishes, all of that. All the fun stuff, right? So there it is, man. Most of the stuff's been repurposed, uh, except for a couple of cupboards from Ikea and the little exhaust fans up there. For the rest, it's an old bus. It's about 40 years old now. In keeping with the oldness, we've kept it a little bit rustic. There's our old flooring there. There's bamboo paneling on the wall there to match the ceiling, which is all very wavy. Love it. Here's our netting for the uh, door over here access at the back same thing also netting this is also repurposed little bracket we've got our copper piping acting as a rail we've also got some net curtains which has a different bracket which used to be a broomstick here at the back we've got our netting which doesn't really get used much we've got our little blackout stuff here which is also um, bamboo much finer that used to be on the ceiling didn't get the nod it didn't work out because we had a bit of a uh, flooding effort in the roof and I only found out afterwards there's a couple of holes drilled in the roof by the previous guy and left there so we had to take that out put in this stuff and yeah look at that this is um what we're looking at this is our new home man thought to give you a quick walk around what we can do now let's go outside and end off at the back of the bus there she is man bit of a beach theme this is also uh, you can see through it from the inside but not from the outside which is cool and basically the bus isn't that fast and when we're climbing hills um, we're going to be in people's way maybe at least i got something nice to look at so in that respect uh yeah gives it a bit of a funky aspect let me know down below what you think in here we got a little bit of a, a garage uh, extra water bottles, all of that stuff, some tools, um, bike rack. It's been four or five days now we've been camping here, which has been a really nice spot right next door, which is cool. And now uh, we're going to spend another week or two in here, give it a good stress test, to check out everything works. And then, yeah, we're going to have to go away again, come back in winter and try it again. So let me know what you think down below. Um, yeah, it's another camper van. There are hundreds, thousands of them out there. I know that, but this is ours. This is the way we've done it. It's a little more beach shack. So thanks for watching guys. Catch you on the next one and keep rolling.